This video is for students who are working on their handwoven pouch and in this video I'm going to show you how to um, make a strap for your bag and then also how to attach it. Um, so remember adding the strap is optional. If you just want to make this um, a little wallet or change purse you do not have to do this step. Um, but for those of you who want to I'm going to show you how to do that. So for starters we want to um, choose three different colors of yarn. Try to pick colors that sort of go with your color scheme. Um, and you want to measure how big you want your strap to be based on what its function is going to be. So um, this is kind of a longer strap because this is for sort of like a cross body bag. Um, but if you wanted it to be maybe like a little handbag or a wristlet, which means the strap just comes out of the side and you can hold it around your wrist, um, that's going to adjust the um, size of the strap. So I'm going to make this as kind of like a handbag, so it's going to just kind of have like a little strap, um, but you can choose the length of your strap based on what you're doing. So um, let me think. I want, so you can actually even take the yarn and hold it on there or you can measure it on your body if you need to. And always give yourself a little bit of extra just in case. Now once you get the desired length um, of one string, you're gonna get your other colors and just measure them to there. So get the tail of my yellow, and get the tail of my red, and just kind of go like this to the end and then you can snip them all. Now what I'm going to do for this bag is I just made a simple braided strap here. Um, you can do that as well. If you are someone who likes to make friendship bracelets and things like that and you know um, some kind of a pattern where there's you know four or six pieces of yarn you're welcome to do that as well. Um, but I'm just going to show you a basic braid. So for starters you want to hold all the pieces together loop it around your finger and pull through to knot all the pieces and you're going to leave a little tail. Then you also want to um, tape that tail down to the table just to kind of hold it in place. And then I'm just going to show you how to do a simple braid. If you already know how to do this, you can kind of fast forward. But for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you. It's the same way that you would braid hair. So I have my white in the middle. I'm going to cross over with my yellow. And then cross my red over the yellow in between the yellow and the white. Then I'm going to bring my white to the middle. Bring my yellow to the middle. Bring my red to the middle. So every time you're just taking the outside string and bring it to the middle. Take the outside string, bring it to the middle. Outside string, bring it to the middle. And you would do this all the way down until you reach the bottom. And then you would knot the bottom the same way that you knotted the top. So you would just go around and pull through. Now I'm going to show you how to attach um, that strap. So I'm still going to have my bag like this. I'm not turning it inside out yet. And I'm going to take one of these tails and I'm going to thread my needle like this. Just one tail. And I'm going to go through this side and I'm going to just pull. <laughs> Got a little stuck there and pull my tail through, then slide the needle off. Now I can take my other two tails and I'm just going to tie a little knot here. Um, if you'd like to keep your tails longer um, on your strap, that's fine if you're someone who has trouble tying or threading needles or things like that, then I would recommend that because um, you can always cut it shorter later. 
Now I'm going to draw my needle again. Pull it through. Just tie nice and tight. Double knot. Make sure it's nice and secure. Snip and snip. Same thing over here. Snip and snip. So now I've attached my handle. Um, and you can, after you do this, you can move on to the third video where I'm going to show you how to flip the bag inside out and how to add a toggle to keep it closed.